Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that escalated quickly. And I'm talking about um, so here in Utah, everything has shut down basically. A lot of schools have shut down. They have shut down um, church gatherings, anything over a hundred people. They have shut down, what else have they shut down? Jazz. Jazz, which is like our local basketball here, which is a huge ordeal. Um, is it just jazz or all basketball? It's all basketball. He's just making some food over there. Um, all basketball, they shut down Disneyland, and so it's insane. And actually, today, I went and got um, an awful ingrown toenail. I know, disgusting and gross. Removed, and there's nobody at the hospital. Um, I guess people have been canceling their appointments because they don't want to go to the hospital. And also, we went to the gym today, and there's nobody at the gym. But, so I thought... Let's take this time and show you guys how we're preparing for um, just information that we're gathering. And also too, I know there's a lot of people from all around the world. So if you have any more insight or any tips, make sure you put them down below. Are you okay? I'm preparing by making mac and cheese. That's what I'm doing. Uh, let's just help each other out because I know there's a lot of things going out there. Some people think the media is portraying it bigger than it needs to be or some people think it's not portraying as big as it needs to be. Does that make sense? The media is downplaying it, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's jump into it and I'll show you what we're doing to try to stay healthy and what we're stocking up on and especially Kiloni as a firefighter, a little scary. But anyways, let's jump into it. Okay, first things first, stuff like this, if you were to have to go into quarantine, this stuff is obviously not going to last you. So my mom actually picked up some freeze dried um, vegetables and some fruit, but what also will can be in place of freeze dried or fresh fruit is frozen. And frozen is actually awesome because they pick it at its prime um, time and that it doesn't sit on a truck. So it's it's frozen immediately. So it holds a lot of nutrients. So then also too, we're gonna go to Costco, which we're crazy because I heard the lines are insane. Um, but we're, we're just gonna go pick up some things. So I'll make sure to do a Costco haul, but some things that we already have on hand that we're not picking up that I wanna tell you guys about is that you know a vast majority of our bacteria is in our gut i think it's like 80 percent so you guys that's going to be the stuff that is going to help you if you were to attract help you fight the and get better from it um so a great thing from that is probiotics it's huge those are good bacteria that we want in our gut things that help our immune system things that help us digest things um, keep us healthy so one of the things i love is raw organic sauerkraut and you can pick up a huge giant one of these from costco um, or you can go to any health food store but they're going to be a lot more expensive but just adding a little bit of this either into your salads or just eating it with an avocado or even straight and the juice is amazing too has great probiotics we're picking up some organic probiotic uh, pills. And so also probiotic yogurt is great for you. We are picking up some probiotic kid um, packages for Luna. So I will show you guys that once we pick it up. I know Target has them, so we'll pick that up from there. And then also too, to help you guys, some great other probiotic. If you haven't, if you haven't watched my um, five drinks to replace like soda pop coffee. I will link that below so you can go watch it. One of the things that we love to drink is kombucha and that has great benefits and not to mention it's super yummy and super healthy for you. So that is another way too that you can get that in. It would be awesome too if you know the world or the US or wherever you're at goes in shutdown mode and you're basically quarantined in your house, that's something you can brew at home. Uh, some of the other things that we're just telling is to wash your hands. My hands are very cracked and dry, which is, I'd rather have that than the We've been washing our hands nonstop. We go to the park, we wash our hands. We always do anyways. Um, but anytime, especially if we're out and about, we're hand sanitizing or washing hands. 
Oh, quick tip, you guys. Another thing is, is a lot of people are getting disinfecting wipes, but I just wanna kinda inform you guys on this because I didn't know this either. Um, when you guys get a disinfecting wipe, it kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria. But with these wipes, you have to let them dry. And I would say minimum four to five minutes because if you're not letting them dry, it's not doing what it needs to do. So if you wipe, let's just say your cell phone or a counter or a door handle or something and you immediately grab it afterwards, the bacteria is not gone. So make sure if you're wiping things down, just let it dry. So wiping your steering wheel down, um, wiping door handles down, things of that sort, and just let it dry afterwards so it can do its thing. Anyways, Luna is sleeping right now. Kiloni is making himself some food and- Spam lasts a long time. Oh my gosh, not spam, babe. Come on, it's meat in a can and it's so gross. Um, and then we're gonna head to Costco. Um, Kiloni, he's a firefighter if you guys are new here. So it's kind of scary. He doesn't have the flexibility or um, the luxury to work from home. He's, people aren't calling 911 and they're saying sorry, they're at home. Oh, what are you guys doing if you guys are going the front line and someone's sick? So my understanding of it is, is hopefully uh, the details we get on the call that we go to um, has the info that they're infected or they have the, showing the signs and symptoms of the in that instance we would get as, li as little people in there as possible we'd get gowned up with like straight up like movie type stuff like gloves glasses masks and we wouldn't get uh, closer than six to eight feet from the patient. But this is the thing that's scary is how do you know if the patient has it or not? And we then don't. you guys just go in there and you're just like we affected don't. and then you bring it home to us. Uh, it's the problem with the job I have. I, there's just not really a way to Can know. you wear gloves when yeah, you go in? We always wear gloves. What about masks? Yeah, we wear masks. So, you know, we'll wash our hands and we'll just try and be as cautious as possible, but. Uh, they should just let you guys work from home. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what they should do? What? We should have like virtual FaceTime for firefighters if someone calls 911. And they just say, my house is on fire, and you guys FaceTime them, and then you can say a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. So you got a water bucket? Yeah, fill that up <laughs> and go ahead and splash it. That's what they used to do. Really? <laughs> Anyways, um, let's jump into our Costco haul. You guys, Costco was insane. It was nuts. A lot of things that we wanted, we couldn't get because they were just gone. Um, and I'll tell you what those are. So if they're by you or you see them at the store, you can grab them. But top of my list, I would have to say um, is probiotics. This is something we got at Target, not Costco. But this is for Luna because it's a kid one. But I like the Garden of Life because they don't have uh, GMO in it. They don't add sugar. Like a lot of probiotics for kids, they add a ton of sugar so they'll eat it. Another thing is, is we buy organic whole milk for Luna. So we picked up a couple uh, gallons of that from uh, Costco. Also, organic almond milk. I drink a ton of this. You can put it in smoothies, your oatmeal. Um, use anything that you would replace milk with. Oh, thank you, Lulu. Mmm, I love the cheese. Mmm, thank you. Uh, another thing is, is we picked up, we I picked this up from Sprouts. It's a local, uh, local health store here. But some organic garbanzo beans, which, which are chickpeas, and black beans. We picked up a few of those. So that's good to have, like, if you want to do, like, a Mexican night or anything of that sort. Hello. Hi. I, I've never been in a store like that's empty like that. It's the most eerie feeling. There is nothing on the shelves. No, no milk, no butter, no cheese, no eggs, no orange juice, no meat. I mean, the whole meat case was entirely empty. That's insane. Uh, I, People are freaking out. I, I just don't even know what to say. No bacon, no ham or turkey. No bacon? Bacon. No bacon? <laughs> we can't survive without the bacon. <laughs> Ask Kayloni, he wants bacon. Uh, well, anyways, I'm filming. Can I call you back? I'll take spam. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, love you, bye. 
Uh, that was my mom. She just got back from the store and she's freaking out, but she has so much stuff in storage, so I don't know why she's freaking out. Anyways, we got some local raw honey. This is awesome to make protein balls or anything of that sort. If you can't go out, you can obviously sweeten anything with this. Uh, we got some Kodiak pancakes. Like this better than regular pancakes. I also bake with it a lot. I do muffins, uh, not just pancakes, but muffins. And I do like waffles and then Navajo tacos. You can put meat on top. We tried grabbing ground turkey. Uh, they were sold out. So go to Costco to look for that. These are kind of a special treat for Luna, but uh, it's the organic um, mac and cheese for Lulu. So, you know, if dire need went to that. And also, I have i don't even know if I've said this here, but I've said it on my Instagram. Luna has a rare food allergy called F-Pies, and I'll go in further depth with another video because although it's very rare, more kids are getting it and it's becoming more common. Uh, so she can't eat a lot of food. So my mom was freaking out about Luna. She's like, what would Luna eat? Cause she mostly eats a plant-based diet with meat. Uh, she doesn't eat a lot of processing. This is basically like as processed as she gets. Otherwise it's fruits, vegetables, seeds, and then um, some meats. And I told her I would just pump and make a smoothie. It'd be fine. She can have my breast milk. It has all the vitamins and minerals. I stopped breastfeeding her when she was one, but I'll just put it into a smoothie and it'd be great. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to come up here? Come here. Come here. Oh, and about the milk, people are like, why did you pick that up? You guys, organic milk lasts months. Like, are you going upstairs with them? Okay, perfect. Organic milk lasts months. Like, at least two to three months if you get organic. Um, so this organic milk doesn't even expire till the end of May, beginning of April. May, June. The beginning of June. Uh, so I will put up here what we didn't get and that if it's by your grocery store, you should get it. But another thing is still cut oats. That's amazing for breakfast or you can cook with it or bake. That's amazing. If you can get organic, just regular oats, that's awesome too. Another thing is Suja has these amazing turmeric and black pepper probiotic immunity shots. I tried to pick those up from Costco. I called and they had them plenty in stock. Went there, all gone. So if you have any, make sure you pick some of those up. We're also missing the pure maple syrup. I wanted to get that because it's great to bake with. The thing is, is when people think of uh, back stock, they think that they have to get just like this plain items kind of just like old school items you would think of like flour wheat and realistically my family would not survive on that so we try to get things that are non-perishable or things that are going to last for months that we can use uh another thing is is keep up on your daily vitamins which i just picked up a uh, garden of life these are the ones that i really like they're certified organic and i still am taking prenatal because i'm breastfeeding brooks but keep up on your daily vitamins. Make sure you're getting your seven to eight hours of sleep at night. Make sure you're staying up on your water and you're exercising uh, and taking those, doing all those things to keep your immune system up, prevent it from spreading. And then washing your hands and not touching your face is a really good one. But um, I touched on this again, like on Instagram, but I think it's really important, you guys, that we just don't do actions or take things to another level out of Fear. If you're making decisions for you and your family based on you just strictly wanting to make sure you're preventing and you're helping it not spread and um, you're just making sure you're prepared, that is going to be a lot better than making decisions um, irrationally and out of fear because people that are buying 20 things of toilet paper, I mean, that's ridiculous. You don't need that. So yeah, having back stock of toilet paper, uh, toothpaste, things of that sort, if all the stores were to shut down is fine. But realistically, I would be loading up on the probiotics, my Hi vitamins. Man. I would just be loading up on things Hi of man. that sort rather than toilet paper. But anyways, I hope everyone stays safe. Thank you for Hi watching. Man. Again, Hi comment man. down below if you have any tips or suggestions. Hi and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and say, we'll see you next time. Bye. Say have a good day. Can you blow kisses? Ah! Mm. Oh, that was a strong kiss. That was a big, long kiss. Ah! Oh, I love you. Okay, bye, you guys.